welcome back to 70 pounds of life my weight loss journey to lose some weight I hope you're all doing fantastic today today we are going to be talking about two things one we're going to be talking about how I failed miserably at the beach two we're gonna talk about if I lost any weight after failing miserably at the beach <laughs> Before we get into today's video, if you could please like, comment, and subscribe, it would really help support the channel, which in turn is supporting me because I quit my job and your girl ain't got no money. Ain't got no money. So I've made it a goal from here on out to really take some time to allow you guys to get to know my personality a little bit more. Also, I have a closet instead of just a suitcase to live out of so I can have different outfits. I used to do a lot of fashion hauls and try on hauls, and I wanna do that again because I feel like my fashion and my style is a big part of my personality. As you can tell, I got the blue her, don't cur. Okay. <laughs> okay. I actually just finished meal prepping earlier today, which I filmed and I made the most bomb keto lasagna. Probably the most delicious thing I've ever made in my life, let me tell you. So I meal prepped, that was one of the recipes that I did and I filmed it for you guys, so now I just need to edit it up and then put it out on the tubes for you to enjoy. But that takes a minute because I am a very slow editor. And if you didn't watch my last video, I gave you guys a tour of my weekly weight loss journey and I created a template that you can download for free. All you have to do is give me your email address. I'm gonna be making a lot of like fun, free little gifts like meal plans and workouts and journals and all types of fun stuff so if you want to give me your email I will send out those gifts as I make them and whatnot which is really cool because if YouTube were to end tomorrow how am I gonna keep in touch with you guys so send me your email <laughs> this is why I edit because you guys will be sitting watching these videos forever so the beach let me explain so I have four very good friends, which you guys have all met, Albert, Rachel, Nellie, and well, me, the fourth one. And we have not all been together in one single place for about two years now. So, epic road trip to the beach. I'm homie, I wonder who wrote it. Oh, shit. <laughs> All four of us was there. It was fantastic. I planned to, well, I didn't plan because that's what, that's the issue. I didn't plan. I wanted to stay on my keto nutrition diet, whatever you want to call it, while I was there and for the two days. Come on, Marissa, two days. What am I thinking? I have been traveling for the past three years. Why did I think keto was going to be so simple? I was going to eat whatever I wanted. No, that wasn't the case. I saw bread and I just gave in. I don't know. I just didn't know what I was going to be eating later on that day and it was there and I wanted it and it was divine. It was so good. But what ended up happening is I didn't plan and I just got so caught up in hanging out with my friends and the moment and alcohol and the food that I just, you know, enjoyed my time, which is perfectly okay. I'm actually happy that this happened because it was a reminder for me that my happiness and my time spent with friends and family is super important. And also I do not want to be obsessive over weight loss, which I have been in the past. I got myself out of it, but this was just like a nice reminder to myself that it's not all about weight loss. It has to be balanced. Like I want to live a happy, healthy, balanced life. And part of that is enjoying time with friends and family and enjoying meals and drinks and social outings but also while being healthy the other like 70 to 60 percent maybe 80 percent of the time I'm gonna go with 80 I usually do like an 80 20 so a beach trip didn't really go that well I had some carbs some tacos some sandwiches and some waffles and a bagel so at first I was really upset about it but then I was laying on the beach looking around drinking a cocktail and I realized with my three best friends surrounding me that it was okay. It's not the end of the world and there's always time to get back on track and there's always time to lose weight. There's not always time to spend with your friends like this. Oh I just realized how chopped my lips were. Ugh. So. Did I lose any weight this week? So last week when I weighed in, I was at 173, and this week when I weighed in, I'm at 171.8. So I lost one pound, what is that, a pound and two? I lost 1.2. There we go. Get it out, Marissa. It is a win. Even though I was off track for three of those days, I would say, um, to be honest, the keto diet is pretty easy. 
and I also didn't really track my calories this week. Before I did keto, it was really important to me to know my macros, especially with me traveling. Like I just really wanted to be like on top of things. But now that I'm home and I'm not feeling hungry with keto, like I mentioned in my week one video, I'm kind of just going along the day and not really, really tracking my macros or calories, but just knowing the window that I want to stay in. So it's getting easier. 1.2. I'll take it that's a win and it's actually back in that bracket of like the amount that I like to lose so between like one and two pounds I like it when I lose it in like a spread out small increment numbers it just that's where I feel the best like that's where I feel good I don't know if that makes any sense but that's what I'm saying I hope you guys enjoyed the video like comment and subscribe support the channel remember you hold the power in your hands to make any changes in your life and I will talk to you guys in my next video which is a meal prep for the week that's all I wanted to say